everybody, and thanks for joining me today. So, what are we doing? We are doing uh, volume control, or basically working with your audio. So, uh, just a quick guide on how you can increase, decrease your volume, or anything like that that you wish to desire. So, let's open up our uh, video studio. So, I've got a little clip in here already. So I'm just going to run it just uh, for about a, just the beginning. So, so here's an intro to uh, a bodybuilding clip. Uh, and then they switch over to, to the gym area. And then you'll hear basically typical gym sound. Video. Okay, now let's say for instance you don't want all that background sound and uh, you just maybe you want to add a soundtrack but you don't want to uh, lose the intro so uh, we can easily do that so we go into our sound mixer and once we're in our sound mixer uh, we have quite good control on what we wish to do so here we go what can we do well first if you bring your project right to the start <coughs> you can control the entire volume just by moving is, uh, your slider up and down. So now as you can see, the track volume also moves up and down, okay? You can also do uh, individually by, let's say, uh, this is where my start, my intro clip finishes, and now this is where the gym scene comes into it, and I don't really want that sound to be predominant. I want to lower that sound. Very simple. If I go into clip mode, you'll see that my little cursor, which is a star now, will turn into a white up arrow. Now what this white up arrow does, if I left click, it'll add notes onto my volume track. So and once I have these notes, I can then start playing around with the levels of that specific note. So my cursor will now turn into a hand. I left click on the hand, hold, and I can move this note anywhere I want. So I can fade it in, I can fade it up. So I've got complete control at this particular point, what I wish to do with this note. Same goes for here. So if I wish to just have this intro nice and loud and then fade it down, very simple. I would add a note as it finishes and add another note where this clip would start and drag this right to the bottom. So as the, as the volume slot, as the volume, as the track moves along, it will just suddenly go straight down into a lower volume. Okay. Now, if I do not wish to have these nodes, how do I remove them? Very simple. I shift, hold, sorry, I click and hold and I drag them up completely out of my timeline and that way I can delete every note in my clip. Okay, and then if I go back to project to the start I can then make everything back nice and smooth. Okay, so uh, this is great if you're going to upload for YouTube or do something in stereo, but if you're going to make a video and you want to download this or burn it onto a CD, but you want now stereo, uh, sorry, surround sound, then obviously you want to work with this panel here. But this panel right now in stereo only allows me to move my volumes uh, to the left or to the right. So what I need to do is go into settings and then click on enable 5.1 surround, press OK, and now I have complete control in surround mount surround sound mode. I can increase or decrease my woofer, increase or decrease the center speaker. And I can also press play and that gives me an indication of what the volume controls are doing. So as you can see now I'll go back again. So okay now I'm gonna go back into my stereo sound settings. There's a lot more I wish to show you. Okay, all right. Let's add another track in here. I'm going to add a, a soundtrack here. Good old Bobby Seeger. Can never go wrong with him. 
Now, I've got the audio from the clip, and now I've got the soundtrack. So, uh, if I play it, I'm not really going to hear like a girl, doesn't it? Never felt that strong. I cannot hear Bobby Seeger. So, again, I'm going to go into Sound Mixer, and I'm, if I want to concentrate just on the Bobby Seeger soundtrack, I'll go over to the speaker here, and I'll left-click on it, which then mutes this track here. If I play my clip now. Like a rock. There you go. And I have the same control in this clip that I had in this clip. I can go into my clip mode and then I can easily increase or decrease wherever I like. And the same thing if I don't want it, not a problem. Just drag them back out. Very simple. Back to project mode to the start, and I'm just gonna move as you can see. This also moves. So I've got complete control in here. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna go back out to the sound mixer. Uh, uh, just gonna concentrate on this clip for a second. If I now bring up my attributes. Basically, option up. Now I'm in my music and voice. I can now have fun with my uh, soundtrack. I can add filters to it. So I can click on audio filters. And this gives me a range of options of things I can do with this track here. So if I've got uh, some noise in there, I want that removed. I can click on noise, uh, remove noise, add. And then I can just use what the preset options are, or I can go into options and then change that myself as well. So that's a pretty cool feature. If I do not want this one here, I'll make, let's add another one in here so I can show you what I mean. Add, uh, add again, who cares? Now, if I say I want to remove these two, remove, remove, and so forth. I'm just going to remove all of them and press OK. All right, now the problem is if I use my main track, I do not have that option. I, I cannot add filters to my track, but uh, surely you said there must be a way. Well, of course there is. What, I need, what you need to do is basically split the audio from your track. So right click and click split audio. Once you have split the audio, guess what? Now you go back to your audio filters. So if you've got some noise in the background you want removed, or if you want hiss reduction, anything you can think of can be now done with the audio filters. And there you go, my friends. It's that easy. And as usual, have a good day.